Welcome to the XO Mary Mac Show. I am your host, Mary Mac. You can follow me on all social media platforms, XO Mary Mac, no C in my Mac, including YouTube. I am currently on tour, the XO Media Tour. If you would like to be a guest on my show, you can hit me on my email, XO Mary Mac, no C in the Mac at gmail.com. Street Capital is always a sponsor of the XO Mary Mac Show, and we are in Street Capital. Today, and I have a guest. What's up, man? It's Baby Summit. I can find me on IG, B A B Y S I M B A. Baby Summit. Y'all go to find me. Let's go. All right, Baby Summit. You are the newest artist to Street Capital. How you feel about that? I feel real good. I feel like we're about to, we're about to tear the rail up. We, we ain't got no choice but to tear the rail up. Yeah, we ain't got no choice. We ain't got no choice. So, for the people that don't know you, for, for, for my Mac Nation, tell them about yourself. 30 seconds, stuff. Well, something about me. I like eating. Wow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I like, I really love music, so I be like, most of my day, I really be just writing music, hey. uh, listening to beats, eating. I work out too, you know. I, it probably don't look like it right now, but I just started back. But yeah. Yo, I just started back working out. Like, yeah. it was, I'm I wasn't liking the pictures. I'm right now. This midsection, <laughs> what, and then my face, like, my thighs and my butt and my face gets big, and I don't like when my face gets big, so I got to, I got to get in the gym. I feel that. Yes. Uh, all right, hey, listen, get it done. That's it. That's that's it's it. Just work. So what you do when you go to the gym? Um, push ups, like the basic stuff. I stretch first, you know, little neck, and then back, you know, legs. After that, uh, I do some lifts. Uh, I don't know the names to all of them. I just be doing it when I learned the football. Yeah. Okay. Look <laughs> <laughs> no out. What do you What do you like to eat? What I like to eat soul food, really, and seafood. But yeah, I'm not a seafood fan. Anything in the soul food category is gonna go. You know, I'm from down south, so I love that and crab legs, seafood. You know, that seafood. You yeah. you put rappers on there. You you put your eat the rappers up there. Yeah, I mean, they know that. But I mean, for the people that don't know, you got to you got to tell I, them. You know, they they I've been I've been doing this. Okay. Yeah, but they gonna learn though. They gonna learn. I, gonna learn. Yeah, I, 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 I usually don't say nothing. I let the people talk for me. Okay. You know? Okay. So we'll tell them what type of music you make then. You know, um, hip hop, but really, I'm not just stuck in hip hop. Like I'm all around in all genres. Like we got hip hop. I got a little R and B. We got some pop. We got some rock coming out. Like it's just a lot of stuff. So what's your favorite? Like if you had to just stamp one of them, what would you be stamping yourself at? Um, I really say that rock, like melodic type of rap, whatever you call it, like hip hop. Yeah, but like rock star. Yeah. You know what I want to see? Which I don't like a monochromatic video, like a black and white, like super hard video. That, that, that'd be hard. Yeah. I'm thinking about actually, I want to do like an Al Capone, like I'm Al Capone, or like one of the grandfathers, yeah. Godfathers. Yeah. That'd be that'd be cool. Then you can have like a picture. I can take you a picture, and like, kind of like how I did a picture for Jed, and like, you know what I'm talking about? How I had like different views. Yeah, I can do you like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can I can definitely do you like that. I'm I'm here for it. Let's we do have, it. We gotta we gotta put it on the put it on the schedule. Put it on the list. Let's so, what is like one of like your hardest songs? Like, what is what is one of the songs like people can go and look up right now? One of my, your music. my hardest songs that you can go look up right now, Hemi Neutron, that I, I actually recently just dropped that, and I just dropped the video, you know, but that's like one of my hardest songs that I like, you know, that's out. Okay. What is it about? Um, it's like, it's just, it's just a fun, lit song, like, it's about me talking about uh, where I'm from, and, but, I'm from Aiken, but I never be on little Aiken stuff, like. I'll never, okay. I'll never be home, like staying home doing the same things that I used to do. Just talking about doing better stuff, talking about my team, you know, just things like that. Okay. Lifestyle. Baby Simba, where did it come from? Baby Simba, well, uh, when I was younger, my hair like come out like like a mane, like tight. Oh, so, so you look like a baby Simba in real yeah, life. For real. So they just call me Baby Simba. Okay. When I was young, that's where they come from. I mean, my just, grandfather just started it. it off. Yeah. 
Yeah, my grandma used to call everybody Cinderella. <laughs> she didn't know her. She didn't know our names, but she knew our number. Like Cinderella number one, Cinderella no. number two, Cinderella number three, and there's five of us. So I'm Cinderella number three. So we all just got Cinderella. And then I had um, another grandma that called me Lulu. So, okay. but you know that was just it. Like my personal friends call me uh, uh, MJ. 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 That's what they call. Me. Yeah. Well, they some people call me like my my family members call me CJ, but like when I started rapping for real, even my family like now I'm just simple all around. And look people. at you stamping it simple. I think that's dope though. Yeah, yeah. I don't think nobody has like the. I mean, people play on you know cartoon characters and stuff, but I think baby simple dope. Thank you. Yeah. Why the red hair? Uh, just to try something new. But at first I had uh six of them, and it was about like people that I lost and it was just okay. that was the that was the reason why I did it at first I had my hair purple for my, my mom she had lupus mm -hmm. so I dyed it purple first and then I was like uh I'm about to dye back black I actually tried it then it ain't turned out the right color and I was like man had to wait a couple months I ain't want my hair to break off if you do Look. it if you do it automatically your hair gonna fall out no cap we ain't got them other people's types of hair yeah. they ain't dying yeah. it back to back yeah. to back no. we ain't them okay we ain't them. Them. So I had to wait, and my junk was like greenish for a while, and then I turned to red. And I was like, yeah. You gonna keep it red? Yeah, I'm gonna keep it red. Okay. I like the red. I mean, it's like a, it's very rock starish. Oh, yeah. I think it fits. But then red is kind of like a base color, so it kind of goes with everything. Yeah. So, yeah, I think, it's, I think it's pretty cool. I don't like red on girls, though. I'm not a... I like red on girls. I like the, like, the wigs that they be putting on, or if they dye their hair red, they got red skin. Red, yeah, they, they red hair. Like, I like that. Well, I'm not a guy, red so heads. it don't matter what I like, okay? Or, or <laughs> even, even, uh, even the Caucasian girls with their red hair. I'm not a red hair. I like blondes. I like red heads. It's just something about I like. Heads. I'm a, I'm a blonde. Burgundy, ooh, on a black woman. <clears throat> mm, 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 mm. No, I'm done. I'm done. You got it though. Yeah. That's what. Look, I'm you, you, you got a girlfriend. Look, all y'all redheads. There you go. I ain't want to put the, I ain't want to put the girls on you. You had yeah. somebody, you know. I ain't want no. you. I ain't want you to come for you like that. No, no. But yeah, do you want a girlfriend? No. Is that the lane you in? Why not? No. I'm living life. I feel like I'm too young for that. Like, I feel like they too young for that too. I don't want to know you at twenty four seven. I don't, don't want to do all that. Like, I don't want to fall in love like real fast and I don't know if you who I really want because like I can be I can be in North Carolina and then like all right we say we you know we're dating and now we we together then I go to Miami then I go to Vegas then I go to LA and then you see all these different type of flavors that you've never seen before for real and this didn't happen to me and it didn't work out then and I know it's not just I mean, I'm not ready to I mean, I respect that. I I am definitely single, and I am single by choice. Yeah. Um, I've been married. I've had a relationship after my marriage, all of that. Mm -hmm. And I feel like every time I focused on other people and other people's foundation and things like that, so now I'm, I'm building me. I'm building my foundation. Yeah. So when I'm ready to get into a relationship or have somebody, then I know, okay, well, if we don't work, I still got my foundation. And I still have to learn myself, like, that, still, that is my biggest thing. Like, yeah. I was married for most of my adult life. Like, I met my ex-husband in college. We have a child together. And that was my life until I was almost 30. Yeah, like. So, yeah, like, I need to know me. Like, I need to know what I like. And this, being with celebrities, and you never yeah. know who's with you for to be with the celebrities. Like, I don't even, I don't even got my ground set yet. You don't, listen, and that's the biggest thing. Like, I'll be... I be saying that all the time because people hit me up thinking like it's that and then sometimes it's not even that like oh well can you get me in a show just because I can get in the show don't mean I can get I don't know these people tell them again just I, I don't because know I can get it what Boosie, what Boosie said I do not know Beyonce I cannot get you <laughs> tickets for the show I do not 
I don't know these people. Yo, but people think that though. People think, yo, you right there with them. Like you right there on the stage or you right there in their face. You watching them get out their car, you can get their license plate number. First of all, them cars don't even be theirs half the time. They in a whole different city. They renting them. Come on, make it make some sense, okay? First and foremost. They just be wanting a name and like nowadays, you know how people start these YouTubes and you have Moneybag and you got Ari and then you got G Herbal and then you got his girlfriend and then everybody, they set an image that everybody like, if we're not that, then I don't want it for real or it's going to be a problem. If you can't buy me bags, like they getting bags, like, and but that's really, it's Nobody's sad. got that money. Like their, their money is a different type of money. Like people are putting females really. I mean, guys do it too, but females. I mean, I ain't saying that, but I'm just saying buying it for you. Like, just like, I got shit to do. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. Yeah. Well, you got to earn this. Yeah. I, 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 I wanna, worked for this. And they don't want to earn it. They don't want to cook no more. They just <laughs> think, they just think just looking good is like what it all is. And it's not that, oh my gosh. It is a that. facade. Social media is meant to highlight a section of something that is going on. It is not reality for 90% of people. So I definitely get it. Don't that. believe nothing you see on it. A lot of people like you don't know. A lot of people just be dating off of contracts. Real life, like, and people just be thinking like they so in love. No, that was a contract. That part. You know what's funny? You know what's funny? Um, and then I'm gonna I'm talk about something else. My daughter, she's nine now, mm -hmm. but I started out doing content with her, and so she would watch YouTube, and she was like, "Mommy, let's do magic like they do on YouTube." I'm like, no, what are you talking about? My daughter's name is Noah. She yeah. was like, they do magic on there. Like how they would like appear one place and then pop up somewhere else. And so I had to teach her like, that's called editing and it's yeah. not reality, okay? So then when I showed her, okay, this is how you do it. So then I was like, hey, we're about to make some magic, okay? And mm -hmm. so then she would know, okay, you're gonna edit it? Let me see you edit us. Yeah. So it is definitely a, a false. Make believe. Yeah, false reality. But mm -hmm. how you feel, about 21 Savage being married and Mulatto getting his name tattooed on her face. Uh, I don't know. I, oh, Lord. That's <laughs> that's just as bad as Chris Shine and uh, Blueface. Well, not, no, nah, she worse. She, she way worse. But he married. He's, he's and married. And she got. That's how he's here. That's how he's in. I mean. Because we were talking about contracts. You said contracts. So he married his baby mama. So he would be able to stay in the U.S. Yeah, that makes sense. I Absolutely, did, I but that too. if you if you talking to Mulatto now, she's got your name, your full government tattooed on her face. That was just a con that was a contract that we got. We can all be together. Oh, we can all be together. We can all, I don't know in his, but with me, okay, I'm not bad. I don't know how his baby mama look, but uh, I wouldn't mind what they call it, poly. What they call it, poly. How you feel about poly relationships? Let's let's get to it. Let's Ooh. get to it. You know what? I feel like it ain't nothing wrong with it as long as you have the right people as long as they know what they're here for. Like everybody know what their purpose is. But So you for have, you, would you be willing to have a poly relationship? I ain't doing no relationships right now. But no, we no we ain't talking about right now. Oh, We're talking life, about later on in the future. In life. We already established we, oh, we grinding right oh, now. Oh yeah. I'll be the man. Yeah. So if, so how many I, women would you have? Just just two. Two? Would your women be able to have other men? Uh, we don't. We're not rocking like that. If I'm gonna be doing this and we doing a what is it called poly, poly, a poly, a poly relationship, and I'm paying for shit, you're not about to be spending my money and going fucking somebody else. Like that's like that, no, we in a relationship. That's what that's what it's called. So now, now you saying now if can I go out and fuck people? Is it right for me to go out and fuck people? If you got a poly relationship, you got okay. Answer the question. Answer it, and that's that's that wasn't my question, but answer it before I put my opinion on. If it. I don't, if I don't want them going out, I just feel like I got I got enough. Okay, good. I got right. two, and if I'm really, I'm I'm willing to slow down and get in a relationship, I got two. What I what I need to be doing all this for? They probably with me on the road. I got two, and and probably if I already got two, they not tripping by the third. I mean, if you want it, but that would have to be like, for me, I'm really big on communicating, right? Yeah. And not just communicating as like verbally talking. I'm talking about communicating to listen, right? Mm -hmm. Because communication only works if the message is being received. Yeah. Now, actions is a different thing, but as far as communication, like if you're communicating, hey, 
I've got two of you, but there might, you know, possibly be five. That's a, I mean, five is a lot, but yeah, I mean, that's if, that's, if that's if that's how you get down, that's how you get down. But, you know, <laughs> yeah. if I might, you know, consistently be adding wives, some people have seven wives. Yeah. In other sure. countries, they do. I mean, Africa, that's, that's what they do. In Africa, you can have a, a 15 wives. So, 15 wives. I mean, if that's if that's how they get down, that's how they get down. But for yeah. me and mine, I can't do that though. Y'all, I ain't doing that. Y'all like listen, women talk too much. They, they yeah. don't. They, they don't be quiet at all. Like, yeah, they do. Not, at least I do. Not at all. But you're young though. I mean, I, I yeah. You but young, but saying, I mean, women, older women don't don't know how to be quiet either. I ain't even gonna put an age on women. It. Women period, are not an age. No, women. Period. If you find the the ones that I like, but go back to that poly thing. I do it, but it just has to like everybody's mindset got to be on the on the right thing. Like now, my god, my god brother has a poly relationship. All right, how you doing? He doing great. Oh yeah, wow, but that's shit. Like I'm he's got kids too. by um by one of them. That's his. He's been married to her since I was a teenager, and then a few years ago he um got another wife. Her name's Lacey. They live in Charlotte, but he's my god brother. Hmm. I mean that's that's his life. That has nothing to do with me. I have no no judgment to it. Um, their structure is one day. Set. I'm gonna I'm try it out one day. I so mean, would I everybody have... be in a relationship together, or would it just be the girls in a relationship with you? So like Kevin, his name's Kevin. Oh. Kevin has like the girls aren't in a relationship with each other, but they're both in a relationship with Kevin. Okay. So how would you set yours up? Would everybody be in a relationship together? I mean. If I feel like I'm funding the, the pro, I'm gonna go with the project. The project, okay. If I feel like I'm funding the project, and yeah, y'all, y'all for me, and it's not, I don't need no like accidents or nothing, like, yeah. What you mean accidents? No accidents or nothing. That that's supposed to be mine. It's mine. No, I'm talking about the girls. Yeah. The girls with each other. So the girls would not have a relationship. They would just have a relationship with you. Oh no, the girls gonna have a relationship. Yeah. Oh, so the girls, it could just be a whole like a. A three person relationship. And not just like me and you got a relationship and you and her got a relationship. It wouldn't work like that. That's how theirs works. He different. I don't know him. He different. I don't, but they have dates I, and everything. I know me. Like one person one girl gets the top of the week, the other girl gets the bottom of the week and then they share the Listen, the, the I always weekend. had this problem with all the girls in my life. My attention, like so they want attention. It's not it's not money, uh definitely love, but Nothing else, like not dates. They, they just want attention. They just want me right there in their face. We cannot be doing nothing. I cannot be spending no money. They just want me right there beside me. Now that's lame. So yeah, that's, yeah, I, yeah. No, but I'm one, just saying, go do your own thing. And no, no. But Give I'm saying, some even space. I done tried different flavors. But they, you're young too, and it though. Feel, no, but it feels like they're all the same. I don't understand why but I have I'm to do this. But I'm telling you, like, it's because you're young. They could be with somebody. Listen, they could be with my homeboy. I mean, I ain't going to say my homeboy. They could be with somebody that I uh, that I know or that I heard about. You feel me? Boom. They done did this and that with them. But when they get with me, they want to they wanna date and do the whole 10-9. Like, why can't you, we do the same thing y'all was doing? You feel me? Like, what? But, no, nah, but, you know. No, nah, but I think you just need to give it some time. You're still young. You just turned 21. They'd be messed up. So you have to, you literally have to give it some time. Like you're right, you're you're on the right path. Like you're focusing on your career. Like you don't got no kids, right? Mm -mm. No, don't don't make none. Mm -mm. Like I got it nieces. is. I got nieces. And, uh, that is yeah, that is nieces. that is perfect. Like there's time for that. There's time. There's, I promise there is time for that. Like I know you feel like yo, I got it under control. Yeah. When I was, I think I was like, I had my daughter at twenty twenty two. So I was around 22, and I was like, yo, I got this. Like, I got this. Once I hit 30, baby, I'm like, oh, I see what that 30-year-old was trying to tell me when yeah. I was in my 20s. Yeah. It's different. It hit different. Give it time. I it know. ain't no it ain't no rush. Like, I'm glad I got to see it. I got to see it firsthand. Like, I done lived in the house with people that had babies and stuff. So, and, you know, I done babysit it. So I know I don't want to be left. I ain't going to say left with this, but I don't want to be stuck, like, you know like saying? I got to, I got to take care of this person because it's yeah, a person. You got to like, keep a person alive. Yeah, you don't. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, go ahead. Really, went, I could have went to the NFL. 
Wow. <laughs> I was going to cut that out, but. I could have to the NFL. We're going we gonna to keep it in there. I appreciate it. Let me know. <laughs> but no. No babies. You got plenty of time for that. I promise. So you got plenty of time for a girlfriend. Like, it's out. It's, you got plenty of time for all that. Yeah. It's hard. Like, living my life as a single mom with a nine year old. She ain't even a baby. She's a nine year old. She can wash herself, she can do her own hair, she can cook, she can wash dishes, she can fold clothes, she can wash clothes. Like, yeah. she's a normal part, normal being, but yeah. she's still needy. Like, on the way here, I was on the phone with her for an hour. We said literally nothing. She wanted to cry, so we was on the phone. And she was crying because she didn't want me to leave. And I'm like, look, if you don't stop crying, I'm hanging up. I will stay on the phone with you if you stop crying. Yeah. I got to the studio. She wanted to start she's talking in. She's you. I, I love her too, but baby girl, I got to go work. I just was with you. See, see, and that's how I be feeling with the females. Like I'd be see? like, "Dang, bro!" I, <laughs> I was just there, and now I, you're just saying like, "I ain't, I ain't shit," because I'm, I gotta go do something. I gotta do a show. What you mean? Yeah. But you know, and I, I've been trying to find, like, I've been trying to find different personalities and different girls, and I've been just finding the same girl. The same person. Well, maybe stop trying to find girl. them. That's your problem. You're trying to find them. I mean, I want, yeah. I think you're being contradicted. You're saying you don't want it, and then you're out here trying to find something. No, 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 no. I get what you mean. I get what you mean. You're just saying if you can see, if you can, if you can find something different, stop looking for it. Yeah. You Things come to you when but you not stop nothing, trying but to not, look for them. But not nothing to date, though. Like, just something like that. I get what you're saying. You're not saying, oh, I'm trying to find a relationship. I'm just trying to see if there is something different out there. Yeah. So when I'm ready, I know that this is what I want. It's people so stuck on relationships. I'm telling you, that ain't what you want. Like, <laughs> that ain't. <laughs> I don't even want to take you down that road. Like, Well, you know that's not what you want. Not right and you, com you communicate it. And so yeah. anything from there is on them. Yeah, for sure. And I'll be saying that. And so people people like to say, oh, I can handle it. I can handle it. And, and look, they can't. They yeah, can't handle it. Not at all. No. Not even a little bit. So I let all of my guests ask me one question. Don't be generic. Like, oh, where do you see your brand? Or where did you start? So, like, anything from A to Z you can ask me. One question, though. Mm, what was the biggest artist you done ever interviewed that you feel like <sighs> with the best personality? Like, you just feel like. That was the interview, and that was one. Of so we favorite. doing like famous people, or are we doing like what are you, your favorite and famous? Oh, so you got so you want me to do two? So you want me to do like local and famous? So I don't, I haven't really. The only famous person that I've recorded so far, like sat down and did an interview with, or you meant like just recorded period? Period, like. Okay, so I can do famous recorded period. I have a few. I don't have just one. Um, so Rick Ross. Mm. Applause okay. and um, I guess Pleasure Pete. Those would probably be my top, my top three. That's a strong top. Your yeah, top Rick Ross was dope because I took a picture with him and it came out super blurry. And there was like a lot of bottle girls, and I came up to him and was like, Yo, can I take another picture? This one was blurry. The bottle girls were pissed. They, they was pissed because they wanted to take their picture, and he was like, "Yo, ma, chill." That Rick Ross you, hard. You, you working? They being fans. Yeah. Get your bag and take this picture, yeah. and then after we take this picture, you gonna look at it and make sure it's good, and then I get to them. Yeah. And I was like, I bet. Let's get it. Took a picture. He said, "Is it good?" I was like, "Yeah." He gave me a bottle, and then he took pictures with the bottle girls. <laughs> so Rick Ross. Rick Ross. Plies. Plies. Plies and pleasure people. Uh, plies. Because Plaz told me uh, I need to I need to charge more. He said you ain't charging enough. Yeah, that sound like him. He said uh, like now he was funny though. He was funny the whole time. He was like I don't know if I want to be on your content. Are you a murderer? And I was like wow, wow, wow. But yeah. So he, and then Pleasure P because he was just a gentleman. Like he was just super sweet. And then we both liked to drink champagne, so we were yeah. just drinking champagne together. So that was that was super cool. That was cool. Yeah, that the Rick Ross shit hard. I'm, I got to meet him one day. He got a song called uh, Apple in My Eye. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah I got to listen to that. Shit. Okay, that shit hard. So, what do you have coming up? What can people expect from you, from you next? 
I'm not gonna cap. I'm about to be so consistent. Like I'm about to drop so much. I'm about to flood y'all with so much vlogs. We about to be on the road in different states. Like uh, I'm out. Next, every time you see me, it's gonna be plane after plane after plane. We got. Uh, we about to come out with a video. A video coming in April. That's gonna be the start of everything. Like strong six months. I'm gonna be the biggest, biggest star in the world. Six months. Tell them where they can follow you at again. You can follow me on I-G-B-A-B-Y-S-I-M-B-A-803, Baby Simba 803, and everywhere else. You can uh, you can tap the link on my IG and everywhere else on there. I got my YouTube. You streaming on all platforms? Everything. Thank you guys for watching the show today. Thank you for coming on. You're welcome. You're you can follow me on all social media platforms, XO Mary Mac. That is including YouTube. No C in the Mac. I am on tour. If you would like to be on the XO Mary Mac show, you can hit my email, XO Mary Mac, no C in the Mac at gmail.com. And we are in Street Capital, which is always a um, sponsor of the XO Mary Mac show. And we will see you guys next time. <laughs> That's the cut for me. <laughs>